hi, uh, <laughs> welcome to my insane recording, dude, where, uh, we're gonna do the first half of SL1 No Hit, uh, except I'm gonna do it to the best of my ability, because I'm kind of new to this, but I'm gonna do it with the Skellies route, so we're gonna go kill Skeleton Lords, and we're gonna do it with zero skulls, which is gonna be insane, but... Uh, the whole point of doing this is we're going to get Kale's Helm, which is in Forest, and we're going to get the Work Hook, and we're going to use the Rapier, and we're going to use the Bow. So that's going to be super cool. The Work Hook makes it to where you don't get as much ADP, which is going to be annoying, uh, probably. So you're either going to have to farm for two, set, two parts of the Peasant set, which, uh, if you're doing a marathon run, I would highly recommend to do, uh, just for your consistency on, like, I don't know, me or night. I, I wouldn't do it personally, I mean, whatever, but, yeah, you're gonna get, the work hook takes, a, takes away ADP. But if you want to get back up to the original, I think it's gonna take two pieces. It might take more, I don't know. I don't know, if you probably want to, if you want to do it at normal ADP, you could probably just have one. Anyway, that's not the point. You're going to have lower ADP um, with this route. It's going to probably be harder, but it's also going to be way easier because you're going to get the mace, uh, not the mace, sorry, the rapier and the bow, which are like the best weapons in the game. So here we go. Kind of just... Yeah, I see I practiced Earthen Peak so I could develop a strat for this one guy. Finally finally found one, which is going to help for SL1 all bosses. But, um... Yeah. Stuff. So, this route, you still need to pick Ascetic in the beginning. Because we're going to get the starting gift Ascetic, the one from Magus, and we're going to buy one from an NPC after Skeleton Lords. Because after Skeleton Lords, uh, we need to go grab the work hook for the rapier and the bow. And Cloanne's going to sell us a bunch of chunks, too, and Titanite and stuff so we can upgrade. Cloanne's really nice. Anyway, so yeah, Deprived, Ascetic, you know the drill if you've done this before. Make your cool character. Uh, I'm gonna do my setup. The my setup for SL1 is cart soul bonfire, and then we're gonna do the start with the dagger. I recommend adding this to your run. It's the freest running section ever. You just run through. You can't get hit doing this, basically. And then you just pick up an item and homeward bone with the dark with the dark sign. Guy never ever catches you. He's never caught me a single time. And he never will. He's too slow. So the dagger. This is nice for Malin. So you can kill Malin early. And Malin drops the soul set that you normally have to kill him with the mace, and that is annoying. This is far more consistent. If you've ever seen the Fool's Idol loop, it's similar to that, except it's easier because you have way more time, and you're not, like, you're not racing her AI to break. Like, uh, with Fool's Idol, you're just trying to loop him. And you have lots of wiggle room. You can even do this and then go for a backstab, but, like, there's no point in doing that. We'll just do the uh, speed run route here. Or no damage route, I mean. Not speedrun. Speedrun would be I go to forest, whatever. I'm gonna do Dragon Rider start because uh, I'm trying to make this route and for someone who's doing like a an all, like what do you call it, a god run. Couldn't think of it. So this should be 100% consistent in theory. In practice, I'm not sure, but you know. If you really want the god run, you're gonna have to practice, so whatever. 
No hiding that. Do about f three hits here, and then just do like this. And look at all that stamina you have to, you know, if you mess up. This is going to be slower than the average SL1 run, by the way, because we have to kill a lot more bosses. We skip Rune Sentinels in the whole Rune Sentinels running section, though, but we still have to do, you know, Skeleton Lords and Huntsman's Cops. Huntsman's Cops is the problem, not Skeleton Lords. Skeleton Lords should be a fight that anyone can get good at. I discovered yesterday that you can simplify the fight drastically with one skull, so that's probably what I'm going to do. You can do it with zero, though. Don't worry about it. You can just uh, have stragglers that run around the arena and chase you. I think I said at the beginning we could do it with zero. I'm going to use one. I, I just remembered the thing I found yesterday. So sorry if you just got lied to. <laughs> Rip. Bad recorder or uh, player, whatever. So you can grab this soul. I just grab it out of habit. You don't need the uh, thief sword though because the dagger, it's good enough. It it goes the opposite way of the thief sword though. I think the thief sword goes left to right and then right to left. I think yeah, this goes right to left and then left to right. So it's gonna be weird. If you normally use the thief sword, if it doesn't matter, just use the just use your fists. Strafe these guys like normal. You can grab the Lloyd's talisman there. We need one in the run, but for consistency, I'm not gonna pick that one up because it's probably scarier to grab that than to just spend like 900 souls on it or whatever, or 16k. Or whatever, 1600. Run around if you don't want to do the jump, it doesn't matter. I'm just doing it because... And then kill him. GG. Actually, if you want to make it... Normally you can do it like that. <laughs> Left hand. Okay, so obviously we can't buy Homeward, so we're going to kill this, yeah. Okay, cool. It's also the full stamina bar, just like Swordsman. And if you want to do the fist strat where you knock him off and then go back to the other side, then do that. But since we have the dagger, I figured might as well just do the faster strat. It really doesn't matter. Now we actually do need to grab this item. Because, not the, the chime, but the rotunda lock zone is what gives you access to Huntsman's Cops. In case you've never gone to this area before. Uh, the rotunda, we're going to go the left path. Uh, we just went the right path to go to um, Dragon Rider. So we're going to go the opposite path. Now we're going to get 10 skulls. Uh, we still can use a dagger for the stuff in forest, I guess. Whatever. For the hand axe. Well, actually, no. We don't even need it. Yeah, we don't need it. Okay, so buy 10 skulls, just like normal. And then we're going to do consistent forest, because why not? I might have to on the fly route the skulls, but I'll save one. I'm probably just going to not use them in, on the way to Magus, and we're going to be good. Probably cheese, Nashka, stuff that's consistent, blah blah blah. Cheesing Nashka is nice, but actually it might not be consistent for like a marathon run or uh, whatever, because... Or just consistent in general, because if you mess it up, I mean, like, come on. He, she she breaks the tree and you're just screwed. <laughs> yeah, we don't need that soul in this run because we're gonna get infinite homer bones and also 
we have 20,000 souls, so we know. You can grab it if you want, though. It's just extra stuff. Two hand, left hand for the fog wall. Lots of fog walls and bonfires and stuff. So, for this, I throw a skull in between the two guys. <clears throat> and then, over here, this guy's easy to dodge. And then I throw a skull at this wall. Throw a skull at this little, like, weird rock thing on the wall. And push past him. The guy with the bombs is looking behind so you won't get hit. And then the most consistent way to do this skull is actually to throw it behind you because they're not near the right wall or the left wall, whatever. If they're near that wall, they can see you, but if they're over there, they can't. So just sit down and we're going to get our upgrades. So, like. And then I guess we can buy, like, three. Bombs. Bombs should be used every time on the way uh, through forest. Okay. So now we're gonna get our plus three mace. We're still using the mace because you know we have to wait till we use the rapier. You don't need to talk to Harold, obviously, because we're gonna kill her. Grab the bow here. And then let's see, we want mace. Uh, also rapier, you can buy that now if you want. And then it will go nine shards. Uh, we can do, let's see, we can go 50 on this, 50 on that. And then we should still have enough for the plus three. And then plus two on the bow. We'll use unupgraded crossbow. I didn't kill Harold there, but whatever. You can kill Harold whenever you want the bones. Okay, so if you have H feather here, equip it. I didn't, but whatever. Arrows, uh, just slide down, drop off, whatever. And then, I think a lot of people kill these guys. If you do bomb wall, you don't have to. Actually, you know what? Let's do it uh, normally. I'm sorry. Yeah, there's no point in doing bomb wall on a run that's supposed to be consistent as hell, right? So, yeah, let's just do the standard stuff. That's a little tricky, but you know, get the hang of it. And then this guy, it's honestly safer to bait out and then punish before he finishes. If you're really scared there, you can get two hits in and run away and then bait him again and then go for it again. Uh, yeah, and then you can kill him if you really want. If you just feel like killing enemies, you can kill that guy. They'll never hit you if you just run fast. Okay, and then this section is just run. Then jump into homie. And then here we need to grab the crossbow, so I'm gonna bomb these guys. that guy you can actually probably you can probably just grab the crossbow and not kill him yeah that probably is fine I mean kill him with the crossbow from distance you can probably do that that's got to be safer I think Yeah, we're gonna get the bow upgraded more because it's more important right now than the crossbow. 
Crossbow is extremely strong. Like, it's just broken in the early game. Rapier is not, but that's okay. Rapier is broken when you get uh, stamina and upgrades and stuff. Bow is always broken, because of, or I mean, crossbow is always broken. I kind of don't know what I'm saying anymore, but it's fine. <laughs> yeah, it's always better to grab the cross crossbow instead of uh, buying it, because you get it for this section instead of having to get like knives and stuff. And then we set it up so I can get door shortcut here instead of the bomb wall. I'll see what these arrows. Bomb wall is just like a speed thing. Or a route through the forest. Speed through the elevator, but kill this guy with the bow. Cause why not? It's, it's technically safer to do with melee, but whatever. And then just destroy this guy, because he's easy. But yeah, we're gonna have, we're basically gonna be using, probably gonna use bow and mace for most of it, and then we're gonna go to bow and rapier. Because, uh, we have to get, like, upgrades for the mate right here. We're probably gonna get plus... Can we get plus in? Eh, we'll see. It's fine. <laughs> okay, we'll go, uh... Two bright bugs, and then grab the ring. Blah, blah, blah. Talk. Send her back. Put on your... Sit down, put on the stuff. You know, you know the drill. Almost die. <laughs> that was really close. Heal again, I guess. And then, yeah, we gotta do this. This is pretty annoying. If you have a consistent way of getting through here, then just do it. There's a thousand different ways to do this. You can buy extra consumables. You can kill them with... Uh... Just don't use skulls there. There's no point in wasting them. I'm just doing this because I don't care. Alright, GG. <sighs> and then I guess plus six Nausea, right? So we'll just get the bow to as high as we're going to get it now. Actually, what am I saying? We're going to use rapier for all the rottens, yeah. That's going to be nice. That's going to be really nice. Same stuff with uh, second pursuer or whatever. You know, the drill again. Except, yeah, this is plus six, so we're just gonna go through Bastille now. Can't shoot him, but that's slow, so I'm gonna kill him. He staggers in two hits, so just know that, I guess. Door skip if you want. And then we got the bow so we can do the strat like it's 80%. Also can grab this extra stuff here, it's nice.
And we're going to use crossbow and mace on Magus because it's just actually the best way to kill him. Like, even unupgraded, the crossbow is still the best way to do it. That thing is unbelievable on Magus. I don't know if we're going to get a one-shot. Probably not. Maybe if I do R2SR and Brightbug, we will. I bet we will if I do that. Thing is insane. It's not like we're on COC or anything. And then yeah, you know the drill with the barrel. Do your barrel strat. And then yeah. Welcome to uh, McDuff. Okay. Standard SL1 stuff for McDuff. It's pretty straightforward here. Except we're going to grab all the chests. Yeah, the only part, the problem is that we're lacking like hell on crossbow damage because I'm saving stuff for rapier. Actually, let me see. Might be able to upgrade the crossbow. Uh, buy one. If we get one more titanate, we might be able to do it. Because then we get six from her. Yeah, we can do it. Okay. Yeah, we can do it. We can do it. Uh, yeah, we can upgrade the crossbow. Sure. We'll go. Let's see. Definitely want to get mace upgraded. Oh, you know what? No, we're good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got kill. We got kills home. We forgot about that. Yeah, we're we're chilling, dude. Yeah, never mind. <laughs> we're we're gonna get all of them upgraded for sure. It's not even a question. We got kills home and uh, <laughs> forgot about that. Okay. Yeah, we're fine. All right. Um. Okay, let's go plus six, and then I'm gonna go back to Majula real quick and get that extra chunk or a uh, Titanite shard. So you should have bought 10, that's my fault. Menton being a bad guide. So, or you can just use the one from uh, Malin here. If you buy 9 and get the one from Malin, then you're good. Okay, so. We got plus 6 mace, and then we're going to go... We can go... Plus six on both, actually, but like that's gonna require a lot of souls, so yeah. I'm curious if we still have souls for Cat Ring. Probably not. Okay, let's just do. Um, okay, plus two bow, and then we'll go. Can we do plus three? We can do plus three. Okay, plus two, okay, we'll go plus six mace, plus two bow, plus three crossbow. And that should be good. And then we'll use the chunks from the other, st or the sh uh, shards from the other stuff to get everything else right. Okay. Also, we need arrow. Uh, no, we don't. We're gonna get arrows, Never mind. Okay, yeah, cool. So that's it. Uh, that's really hard to keep track of, but basically what I did was I went... I didn't upgrade their dagger or the rapier. I can actually get rid of the dagger here. Uh, we got plus two on the bow, plus three on the crossbow, plus six on the mace. It doesn't really matter. As long as you get plus three on the, on the crossbow and plus six on the mace. I just went with the plus two bow because it's just like... Kind of the rhythm of the game that I'm used to. Yeah, we have this branch here. We can also get this. So let's buy the the third bright bug right now, and then cat ring. So now we're gonna go get our rings, which is like, you know, 
really boring, but whatever. <laughs> this is the most boring part of the run if you've done it on marathons. It's kind of fun to do it, but like... God, I can't stand doing this on Trilogy, dude. Or, or SL1 Trilogy. Anyway, blah 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 opinion, let's go. Uh, it's just two skull throw stuff. You know the drill. The whole point that I'm, I, I'm just like, I'm not really explaining the, the basic stuff because it's like, I don't care. And also because SL1, 80%. If you, I'm basically assuming that you know the route for SL1, 80% at this point. You know how to do this, right? I mean, come on. It's like elementary school stuff, dude. Anyway, plus three crossbow is surprisingly good, as I said. If you get a raw stone here, then you can infuse the crossbow with the raw stone. That guy won't come all the way up, ever. And we're gonna use like our last skull for this area here, I think. Because I hate rolling these guys on Marathon, so... When you get to the grass, throw it at the wall. This guy gets up faster. Or you can do it earlier and then just... Have him throw it later. Which is scary, because if you're in the way of the rock, he hits you, so... Might as well get him to throw it faster. Whatever. Get the fork road thing. And then we're going to kill the dudes and grab... RTSR. Just gonna do it the range this way because it's faster. Free roll. That's not that hard. I, sw I, I swear to god, it's easy. I'm not kidding. Just press the button. Just, just roll. It's like, that's all you need to do. Do the simple no hit. You know, game mechanic roll. <laughs> That's all you need to do, and you're good. Don't skull that guy, please, for the love of God. Anyway, skull him at the end of the game when you're nervous. Okay, we got forlorn. Uh, yeah, we could just do the forlorn, sure. This forlorn's not fun. I don't like him. Alright, so he should be around here. can't see him though. Oh, he's behind me. Okay, there he is. I wonder if he'll catch up. Let's see. Yeah, he will. Okay. We can bait him. Again, you can go to Nachka and then redo this section, but... This is fun, so I'm doing it this way. I wonder if I have to drop down and run back up. No, he's way too slow. Okay. So gotta watch out because he's probably done with the tree. Okay, and then we really don't need like any souls here, so I'm gonna go do the RTSR setup on the other tower. We do need this chunk though, actually. Watch this. <laughs> Got him? Okay, and then bait. Giga Chad, dude. Oh, gaming. Gotta show off the insane forlorn tech, dude. How could you not? Plunge attacks from the sky. Where is he going, dude? Okay, no follow-up. If you have forlorn in your world, the easiest thing you can do is to just bait follow-ups. Like, it's so safe. I would not recommend it for like a, a, a marathon run, though. Do this on your on your game one. Or uh, you could do this if you're just doing a single game run. 
Like if you're just going for S on any percent, you want to add this into your run. I keep forgetting people exist that do that. Who? <laughs> I'm just I'm thinking in terms of like God run right now, completely. Because I want to see this be actually consistent, and not just oh S on no boss. Oh. Okay, so this is the RTSR setup. Right here. Forlorn is probably gonna come up here actually. Right. Yeah. Come on, bro. Come on. I mean, or you could despawn him. I mean, you could do that too. It's fine. There. Gaming, dude. Yeah, I'm not, I couldn't be bothered to cheese Nashka, so. Just, uh. We'll go back for stuff. There is uh, one thing I, I didn't get because of this forlorn guy here, which is like 14 or something resins. But actually, it's probably better to grab them later anyway, so it, it doesn't matter. There's like a thousand different ways to change a route. Like, that's the thing. As long as you really grill one into your head on a marathon, it's fine. It doesn't matter when I buy stuff, as long as we have it before a specific point in the run. Now I'm gonna get hit to Nashka and look again at Dune. Okay, GG, never mind. The game is gonna get hard. Here we go. We have to do scary stuff. Oh no. Oh yeah, we need this raw stone. Big important raw stone grab. Need this. You really want this on your crossbow, but. Actually, if you're gonna use the bow, <laughs> technically you don't need the straw stone if you want to be like super cool. But it's also just like 7,500 souls saved, right? So you just you don't want to have to go back and grab extra souls in forest or in uh sorry shaded woods, not forest. The shaded ruins part is what I mean. So yeah, let's just do this now. Give me. Yeah, I'll probably still infuse the crossbow. I mean, just whatever. What's cool about this right actually is that if you really wanted to, you could add on Shulva, and then you can go grab Flynn's Ring and Sanctum Mace, which is like, that's super cool, dude. It would take ages, but you could do that instead of doing, uh, you could kill Magus and do that, and you could do like four frauds or something. <laughs> there wouldn't be no point in doing that, actually, but that'd be hilarious if you did that. Lightning clutch ring for no reason. Okay, so uh, you could farm peasants out here. I don't have all day, so I'm not going to. But I'm actually just going to do this. I'm going to kill them one at a time. I should have done bowling there. I don't know why I didn't, that. didn't do that. Actually, hold on. Let me do bowling. Do you guys like bowling? Let's bowl, dude.
I want to get it now. That'd be funny. Nice. Okay. So this, these guys are pretty easy to kill one on one. Ooh, goodies. Yay, we got it. Yay. I need the ladle for this to work, though. I'm so I will get the ladle. Don't worry. I'll actually get it, and then we'll use it on... Uh, skeleton Lords. We got a little hat, too, dude. Hell yeah. Styling on him. I like to get as many large shards as we can so that we can waste our souls on other things that are more important in life. Like groceries. Man, these guys are dropping stuff like left and right, man. Aim of the century. <laughs> cool. Oh my god, wow. Okay, never mind, I'm not gonna get the ladle. I'm decked out in ADP gear. I'll probably still get it. Eh, whatever. Oh my god, I rolled it because I have a peasant set. <laughs> it's funny. Which one should I keep? The, the peasant attire or the trousers? Probably the trousers. This weighs a lot. I'll get the ladle anyway, whatever. That's like insanely lucky. Okay, so you can do this jump to set up RTSR. It's Dulles patented jump. And then we can fight uh, Congregation here. Man, we have a lot of souls actually. It's pretty impressive. It's that dragon rider that did it, for sure. Alright, uh, go Pine Resin and Bright Bug. Because I want to just cook these guys, dude. <laughs> want to destroy them. Alright. You know the drill, dude. Yeah, that's insane. Wow. That's actually ridiculously good. Oh my, oh my god. Wow. Plus six bow can't even do this, dude. Give me a break. I don't know why you didn't buff. You always buff. That's strange. How could you not want to use the mace on your run? See? It's great. No, I'm joking. Free fight. Actually, so easy, dude. Oh my god. This thing is broken. This crossbow, dude? Okay. No, but for real. The crossbow is really good on that boss. Highly, re highly recommend it. Only if you have cat ring. You can't survive that if you don't, so. Watch out. But, there we go. Alright. Let's kill the lizard. Let's kill the lizard. You also want to grab this. Just spam R1, dude. When you're about to plunge. And you'll probably get it. There's other safer strats now for that. Thanks, I think, Baryon. I don't know if you found it, but that's where I found it from. 
the new safe stuff. It's really cool. Okay, and then we want to make sure we got one of our bombs. So I got like three bombs from one of the soul pickups. Charcoal resin here. Extra torch. I got a bunch of torch time from the peasants, so if you're like, why the hell do you have 14 minutes? That's why. <laughs> okay, we got chunk. You can grab the uh, attunement ring if you want to waste your life trying to get spells, but I'm not doing that. Get the chunk there. Check for forlorn. If you get forlorn, you have to learn how to go to Freya. Or you can do the despawn spot. Oh, whoops. Surely I won't get hit. Okay. Now we still have like two skulls for, uh, which is about how much we need uh, for Huntsman's Cops. That's pretty good. It's just going to be kind of sketchy. It's a little bit more sketchy than it is on the SL10 boss. Just a little bit. But that's fine. Okay. I'm fine with that at least. Okay, let's go down uh, the pit real quick. If you want to see how easy the pit is on SL1 without, you know, you can actually just do that. And then, you know, you know, I guess. Yeah, pretty free. Anyway, um, let's see. Actually, you do want to get this lizard as well. We just want to maximize the amount of Titanite that we can have. So, let's grab this one too. See, it wasn't that hard. And then, miss your jump, because skill issue. If you can kill these guys, then go for it. Don't do that though, that was like insanely stupid. Obviously don't do that, because they literally almost died. And then yeah, I'm gonna get the bonfire here. And we'll go get the ladle. Yeah, so that was the branch, and this is the chunk. On uh, any run, actually, that you can kill this guy. There's no point in not killing him. He's one of the most dangerous enemies, because it's like nowhere to go there. I didn't know that until uh, I realized that you could just kill him, and I'm like, oh, right, I've been hit a million times not killing him. So, let's kill him. De death to the guy. Actually, it's probably good to rest here. This uh, 18 times speed is nice for this, just this demo thing. You know, you just gutter along. You can kill him too, I guess, but he's pretty easy to strafe. This guy you can also kill, and the guy behind you probably won't catch you, so... And then, you wanna find him and kill him? There he is. Grab poison arrows. They're actually important on this because we can use the bow, which is so unbelievably nice. Dude, I can't even describe how nice that is. Poison arrows, dude. Ugh. 
I wish the crossbow had poison. And then that's the branch for the uh, the rotten fire, so it's gonna look like we have way more than we do. Okay, so, oh my god. Okay, now we gotta do the really hard part. Yay, which is uh, killing the guys called skeleton lords. <sighs> Despair. Okay, let's actually think about this. What do I do here? It's gotta be we upgrade the mace. We keep all the bows at plus six, and we get the mace and the rapier to plus. 10 plus 8 plus 10, right? So, okay. So we'll go, and then we'll upgrade the the bow with Chloe's chunks. That's, I'm feeling that. So let's go plus 10, and then, yeah. That's about it. We'll keep this at plus 3. And then, okay. Now you're like, oh my god, how are we going to go through cops with a plus 3 bow? Uh, and 17 arrows. So we're going to go back and get a million arrows. Because I, I agree, how, how would that even be possible? We can't do that. So, let's do about 500 arrows, maybe. And we'll go, you don't need that many. We'll go 400. 400 arrows is a good amount. I always like buying 400. It's very comfy. Plus we have like a thousand trillion souls, so. Yeah, cash in, cash in, baby. Alright, now is the, this is the important part. This is where we get new, okay? So, let's go get, uh, let's see what we got here. We got branches. Okay, let's go to things betwixt and grab the ladle. Uh, this is so that we can do peasant set throughout uh, Huntsman's Cops and the Rons. Actually, we won't be able to do it with the runs, I lied. But Huntsman's Cops. And any running section. If you if you ever want to switch back to Mace and Crossbow for a little bit, you can you, you have the freedom to do that now. So do this incredibly inconsistent area. Actually, unbelievably not consistent. It's crazy that we still do this, by the way, instead of just farming through peasants or not farming at all. Bleed stone. Oh yeah, I didn't go raw. Okay, you can also go raw crossbow plus three. I'm gonna do that. I'm glad I didn't miss that. Alright, cool. Alright, that's part one of this section. Now we gotta... Do this part. Where is this guy? He's over here, right? Yeah, okay. Should take three hits, right? Yes, sir. Okay. And let's see this. It's like one, two, three guys in there, right? Yeah, okay. So we gotta try and kill three. So that's one. That's two. Hiya! That's three. That's a shard there as well, if you don't kill a herald. And then ladle time. Actually, you might even want to get... Nah, there's no point. Just use crossbow here. What am I saying? 
You can also try and do like. No, nah, okay, yeah, no, that's easy. There's no point. Yeah, all right, I'll shut up. And then go back and talk to bro, and then get your ladle. Gimme, thank you. Okay, now we can roll and be cool and whatever. So, there. Oh, I went to the wrong bonfire again, no! All right, let's go. Now we're gonna go to Cardinal Tower, and we're gonna get Kale's helmet. And we're also gonna talk to him. Don't forget to talk to him, because I want the key for the map. Because we're going to go inside the house and grab the free Titanite. So. Don't just kill him immediately. Even though he's really easy and vulnerable. And deserves to be killed for no reason. So I don't know how you do it. I usually don't do it from this side. So I'm going to take it safe. Because I'm not used to this. Uh, we got to kill all the archers, I think. Right? So this is one of them. Alright, we got that guy. Uh, we need to kill the one up there and the one down there. So, right, so. Where is he? He should be about right here. Yeah. Okay, it won't reach. Cool. Okay, I got him. Nice. Alright, GG. And then we also gotta kill that guy, right? The last dude is here. And kill him early. And then with cat ring on, we can go like that. Alright, that should be 100% consistent uh, forest thing with the cat ring stuff. And we just killed the guy on the left. I checked to make sure that you kill him. We did. Okay. Because if you, you know, don't kill him and then you just walk up here and stand here, you just, you're dead. If you don't pay attention. So talk to this bumbling cringer for the house key. And then that's the house in Majula that no one knows how to open when you first start your game. So you should be able to get two hits off and then R2. Because the aggro's in three. Uh, three. Three obvious hits. So you can combo chain stuff. So that, would, that counted as one hit. So he was far from aggroing. So we're good bunch of technical stuff on DS2. Okay, now we're gonna go back to the house. That one, the one that you don't go in. And we're gonna run, don't go in the basement because there's a skeleton there that can hit you. Uh, listen to the, you know, listen to my cries and my words. Don't go down there. Like Here, I'll show you. If you go down here, there's a skeleton down there. Don't go down there. Go around here. So let me just, in case this is confusing, because uh, I know whenever I first enter an area in a game I haven't played before, and I'm learning a no-hit run, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. So just go here, go right, and then go through the only path you can go. And then instead of going straight, there's a secret path on the left. Go on the left, and then just go straight again, left, and there's a chest. This is where the chest is. And it's Titanite. Night. So. Hooray. Now we've got six Titanite Night shards. So we can upgrade. Basically, uh, we can upgrade the rapier now or the bow. It doesn't matter. I'm going to go upgrade neither. <laughs> Never mind. I'm not going to upgrade them. I'll upgrade them after Chloan. Okay, oh, that's so confusing. So, after you're confused as hell, uh, basically what we just did, uh, now we're going to go this way. We can do pit for R2, so R2, actually. Let's do that. No, let's not do that. Yeah, let's do that. So, like, one of the coolest R2 star setups in the entire game is this. It's where you just do pit again, and then bone out. <laughs> so, 
it's like it sets you up for RTSR for like any level. It's great. Anything that you can reach from Majula, you can do that to set up RTSR. And then ladle, right? And then we want crossbow. Okay, cool. Got the trousers this run. Any attire. Just pick your favorite one. Usually on if you're doing as if you ever do S on all boss and you have the jester pants or the cat pants I use, then you don't want the trousers over the attire. But since it's any percent, uh, we just want the trousers. Because the attire is like heavy as hell compared to the trousers. And just this mobility is a little bit more comfy in my opinion. The best case scenario is the uh, the gloves. That's that's what you that that if you get the gloves, then it's like it's kind of hard to tell that you have it on, but you have like it's not going to affect your equip load at all. It's so minor. Actually, good safety bonfire to grab. Okay, so the easiest way to do this section is to kill them all, but you can also roll through there, and you'll never die. Like, if you just automatically roll to the right there, he won't kill you. And then we're going to turn around and kill this guy. Okay, here. So, plus three is a little bit slower. I actually don't know if we one-shot the guys or not. I think we do. Okay, good. So, we got to get a headshot. So, here, I want to get a headshot on this guy here. Very important. If you don't, you can try and quickly dodge to the left here or to the right and dodge there and then go for a kill again. This guy is RNG. Sometimes he randomly spawns. I don't know why. Maybe he's not, but we don't know. Okay. Kill him in two hits. Throw your first skull of cops. Kill this guy. If you throw it before they aggro to you, then they can't see you. Okay, I'm going to put on my ladle in case I screw this up. I'm actually going to make a save here. Call it, uh... Guide. Cops. Okay. Because I'm very prone to messing this up. But that's fine. That's really annoying. Yeah, you're not annoying. Alright, double check. We're good. If you shoot this butterfly, he aggroes, so I'm going to shoot him first. Nice miss. I always shoot the butterfly, because it's the first thing you can see, but... Didn't realize that actually aggroes him. Okay, then... So, oh, yeah, we gotta shoot the butterfly. <laughs> we have to shoot it, even though you don't like have to shoot it first. You're tanky, dude. Just double check where you are and everything. Here, I'm gonna make sure I get a headshot. And just rigorously practice this, dude. Get it, like, burned in your head. Okay, got him. Got him. And this is the most important guy. By far. Nice. Okay, make sure you... I, I was, if I mess that up, that was going to be scary. You got to get him in the head. And that's all the guys. In vanilla, there's a dude over here. There's two guys that brush you over here. And there's still one over there. It's like... It's pretty sketchy. I didn't know they dropped you enough juice. That's cool. Okay. Cool. Nice. Nice. And then we're not going to bother with the skull here, because I made sure to actually kill all the guys, so. 
just really double check if you, you know, if you want. Some good advice to double check there. This guy should not be an issue. Just kill him. He's gonna be an issue. Look at you, dude. Imagine being an issue. Grab my skull. Yeah, we can do this part. Yeah, we can do this part skullless. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So I'll just use the skull on uh, Huntsman Scott or uh, Skeleton Lords. This guy's kind of dangerous. Can't shoot over that wall though. <laughs> Got him. This guy, watch out. He he like lunges at you if you get too close. So. Oh, ladle, nice, dude. <laughs> okay, I need to not do any melee. Remember that. Okay, this guy. This guy, I said. There we go. And then there's gonna be another guy here. Cool. Alright, and then like basically the only way we have to do this is like this, so I'm gonna do it. Get your mace out. Run under that guy. Actually, we don't want the mace out. Liar. Kill this guy on the way back. And then this guy too. You got a lot of room, I'm just being greedy. Okay, so when we're running around the arena here, uh, we can put the ladle back on. Okay, I'm gonna call this guide skellies. Make sure. I haven't got hit yet, but I might. Okay, here, uh, you don't want fire, so we'll just we'll go magic. It doesn't really matter. If you want to get lightning for this, then do it. Bright bug. And here we go. Run in, kill the first guy. Run to the left guy, kill the left guy. Dodge the guy on the right. R2. Kill the bone wheel. Kill the other bone wheel. Get one skeleton if you want. Go over here. Can wait a little bit if you want. Throw a skull. That way they all start running over here. And you can see that, you know, we're, we're chilling here now. Like, we don't have a thousand guys running at me at once. Which is nice. Now they're all in a good cycle, which is what we want. And we got a whole lot of time around there. If you don't throw that skull, it's kind of sketchy, so... And this is just like Deacon's, but more boring. You know, just run around the arena. It's actually better than Deacon's because you can punish them at all times. Deacon's is still worse somehow. They're one of the lamest bosses in DS2, dude. The beginning is cool though, I like the beginning. Anyway, opinions don't matter now, let's go. Yeah, we can switch to ladle as well. In case they get close and I have to dodge. Which never happens, but it could happen, in theory. So, I'm gonna be prepared in case. See, I was gonna miss that, so I, I swapped the lock on. There's so many benefits to doing this boss. It's like, you get practice for so many different runs, dude. I don't like this guy with the shield, so I'm gonna kinda go this way. Nice, we got a guy. And yes, put your soul gear on after this fight as well. So you can go like this, put on half of it. 
or even take off all the other stuff if you want. Like you don't need Kale's Helm yet. Kale's Helm's only for rapier stuff and just stat boosting gear. See the crossbow, even with half its intended durability, is still holding out, dude. Literally, it's a it's a bug that it has this much durability and like free game, GG. See, I mean, come on, bro, worth it if you ask me for a marathon like that. Actually, I don't know. I don't even know if I was doing the. The run, I don't think I would do this. But it's here if you want to do it. <laughs> you can try it. I think I would just go with the May stuff and uh personally. But yeah. This is great. This makes the late game like I can't lie, this this stuff makes the late game so much better. And you learn so much about the game doing this as well. You become way better. As soon as you know how to do this part of the game, you're just better at the game. It's just like automatically. It's not. It's like you can't even say no. Okay, so we're gonna go up here, almost get poisoned, and then you can use the poison moss if you want. I got this from the pit, by the way. The poison moss. Okay, so get the aesthetic, that's the last one, and then you can get like all ten of these, and then talk to her, and we're going to send her back to Majula. It says perhaps we'll meet again, you're good. We're going to kill big boy. Miss, because you know, missing is required. And then, yeah, we don't want the ladle in the peasant set right now. It's not important. Actually, we could probably put on this stuff for poison resistance, though. Okay, so there's... There's a chunk over there. I don't even know if that one's worth it. It's probably not. Yeah, it's not. I'm not going to grab it. I'll grab this one, though. Just maybe practice the line through there. I'm not gonna worry about making that line perfect because I have healing in my run. Ha 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 ha. And Sanctum Mace. Yeah, whatever. There's like whole avenues for improvement here, <laughs> is what I'm saying. Okay, climb the thingy. Kill the bro, rip bro, and then pull the lever. You can climb down ladders if you want to be safe. Another safety bonfire. Okay, the way this section works, as soon as you hear the thing go off and hit the floor, go, basically. Oh hey, there's another guy. I should have killed all of them, whoops. There's also, you want to kill this lizard if you can. More Titanite. If you mess it up, just bone out. Okay, so we heard it, so just go. Just gun it. And we're going to go around him. And you want to stop until you see the poison particles. So now, and then go. You can also just, like, kill all the enemies here if you want. Uh, you can look up all boss runs and see people take this place way safer than I do. But that's 100% consistent. So I'm doing it. Uh, to show it off. Okay, then Covetous Demon is kind of easy. 
just be careful. If you really wanted to, like, it would be kind of funny. <laughs> you could get a bunch of consumables and kill them with consumables. I'm completely liable to dying with this guy, though. He is not a joke. Uh, even though he looks really slow and easy, he's actually kind of dangerous. Like, all of his hitboxes are terrible. Like, he's a pretty poorly made fight. So, watch out. He's almost as bad as Mytha, uh, in terms of hitbox design, actually. Like, this thing is so stupidly inconsistent. I've seen people die to it and be like, what? Yeah, I'm gonna go around here. You actually have to watch out. <laughs> Don't let the people joke about it, you know, discourage you from even practicing this. I wouldn't blame you. Cool, we got past the Covetous Demon. Yay. Technically, we can go like that, but... That boss isn't as important for souls as Skeleton Lords, I don't think. Okay. Alright, so... <sighs> Here's... Uh... <laughs> Earthen Peak. So we don't have to kill Mytha, thank god, because that fight is awful. But... We're like, we're just on... We just almost get to Mytha in this run. And we got one chunk from Harvest Valley. Just to, as a reminder. We do need to go through the level though. So, here we go. One of the most annoying levels in the entire game. Let's do it. Gotta kill the two guys with the bow. Sometimes you'll get him stuck and he's like extremely annoying to kill the guy in front. Kill this guy and then find a way to shoot him. Or bone out and then keep your RTSR. And you can't use the poison pot to set it up for some stupid reason. Okay, so you kind of want to aim with the bomb there. I was a little too far back. That was way too far forward. I'm going to run out of consumables, dude. There. Okay, so that's how you do it. If you want to buy a bunch of bombs before going through cops, you can put that in your notes. Like, buy 30 bombs. And then we're just going to kill this guy. Plus three is super good. This guy kills himself if you do this. But you can also just bow him down. Ugh. And this is the one guy like this that we have to fight. There's two that normally you have to fight, but this this is the hard part. So get your ladle ready in case and then headshot him. Headshot him again. Headshot him again. Okay, so now we got a you know scary red light, red light, red light, and he's good. Okay. Still, it's pretty good. Like it's pretty consistent. Uh, that that's just a little sketchy, is, is what I would say. Uh, not pretty consistent. It's 100% consistent, but it's pretty scary. It's like you know. Anyway, so buff, and then. Kill this guy. You don't really need a buff, I guess, but I, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> I'm not gonna get caught lacking here, dude, without flinzering. And then, okay, last, last scary part. This is it, and then we got the mace. So, actually here, I'm gonna go grab the spawn fire real quick. And then I'm gonna grab a, 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 a what do you call it, a Lloyd's Talisman. So as long as you don't get too close to that guy, he will never aggro. And we can still do the 100% consistent line. Which is good. Let's grab, uh... Clovan's back. So, new NPC, uh, Clovan. Uh, very different from the 80% run where you don't even see Clovan. Yes, yeah, so we're gonna... We, you can pick this up. Uh, and skip the bonfire on the way to Dragon Rider if you want. But we have 100,000 souls, so I'm just going to get it. Okay. Now, what we're doing is we're going to go run to the Mimic. And this is sketchy because we need, you know, we need to kill this one guy. And he, I don't like killing him, but we have to. Because it's like the only thing we can do. So, here we go. I hate killing this guy, by the way. It's terrible. This guy sucks, but we have to. 
It's like the only way to get this mimic thing. So. Climb the ladder. This line should work every single time. Run through, and that is all you have to do. Now, we have heavy, so we can actually break these pots. And now, you, this is sketchy, but we gotta get close here, right? Find her. One shot. Okay. Just wait a bit, maybe, to make sure. And close walk up again. Second shot. Okay. Now we gotta kill this guy. This, I would, I, I'm gonna buff for him as well. I'll do uh, charcoal pine resin. And just in case, because he's sketchy, I'm gonna put on peasant trousers. In like, in case he messes this up. Okay, GG. And you see, like, if we're going to Mytha, we would need uh, to drain the well, but we don't need to go to Mytha, so we're good. Now, uh, another section. You have to kill these guys. They're pretty easy to kill. They don't do anything. You can break these pots, too. We've got a bunch of arrows to work with. And this is the mimic chest split by the way. We don't need to kill the guy in the back, but you basically want to kill every other guy. There's this guy here. It's pretty sneaky. Oh, watch out. If you get poisoned by these pots, apparently it's a hit. Oh, he came. Okay, no, we need to kill all of them, apparently. This is the mimic chest here, this guy. So. Actually, don't know the side of this, okay. So, throw your thing, pick up the gauntlets, get the hell out of here. Okay. You can actually get the secret bonfire too. Let's go get the secret bonfire. And yeah, there we go. We got Rapier unlocked now. And bow. Hooray! Okay, we did it. So, now is the uh, part where we go upgrade everything. Which is like, yawn. But we're doing it anyway. So, where is Medulla? Now we've got some decent Rapier and bow damage. We got this stuff already. All right, let's see how what we can do. Um, all right, plus eight, and then uh, large shards. Okay, we can go get large shards. We got souls for that. McDuff is the one who sells large shards. All right, plus eight and plus seven, nice. Okay, and then now we got, so you're gonna have less ADP with the work hook, like a little bit less, see, three ADP. So this is, if you wanna practice on three ADP, you can do a run called, uh, you could do bandit class no leveling. That's a good way to practice this um, low ADP thing. So yes, I'm very, I apologize for this problem. We can check though with peasant. Okay, no, peasant trousers doesn't actually boost. If you want, yes, actually, look at that. Okay, so it says we have 5 ADP. So if we want to get to 6 ADP and have the iframes that we have on base SL1 with the work hook, then you can farm two pieces of the peasant set. But And we also get these cool gauntlets, by the way. That's pretty nice. But uh, I'm just going to get my 3 ADP and deal with it. Uh, if you want to go and get two pieces of the peasant set, so like gloves or attire or whatever, I had the attire earlier, so that would have worked here. Then uh, you will have the same iframes. But yes, you need Kale's Helm on and Warcook. This is the stuff that all boss runners use. 
Okay, so now we're gonna do gulch. Just do gulch however you do it. I'm gonna do my speed stuff. Good line to learn if you want to get better. You can also buy lightning resins here. If you want to use lightning resins on Rotten. They're uh, from the hat. The head guy and shaded woods. They're pretty cheap since uh, what we got now. And yes, the in game, I'll go through Drang Lake just to show off uh, the bow's capability compared to the crossbow. It's like insane. And then we'll use um, the lizard to get three chunks so that we can get plus 10 on the rapier. And yeah, we got slabs. And then at the end of the game, what you'll do is you'll go to Chloan and you'll buy extra chunks because she'll sell six after Velstat. And then you can get the bow to plus 10. So you can get rapier and blow, uh, blow dude, really. Rapier and bow to plus 10. Oh, we don't need this on actually. Doesn't do anything. Like, this is not how I do my SL and all boss route, but you can do it like this if you want. Alternate way, basically, is what I'm saying. This is how the rest of my SL1 run looks <laughs> after this part. I do this part with Mace. And then uh, have a more consistent, or not more consistent, I guess, it's, it, as you can tell, but have a safer uh, Huntsman's Cop so I can just spam skulls and stuff. But you can't do that on this route, so. Whatever. I'm just talking. Okay. <sighs> yeah, I could have gone plus eight mace, but I don't know if I would have been able to kill uh, skeleton lords as consistently, so I went plus ten just to make sure. It would actually be kind of funny to do all the setup for uh, all bosses on a 90% SL1 run. It's like this and Leo Ring and Flynn's Ring. Yeah, I'd love to see people try this. It'd be really cool. You know, good way to learn more about the game. Good way to uh, make SL1 any percent a little bit different, you know? Also, a good way to uh, make the late game safer if you hate the late game in SL1. Which I like. If you don't like the crossbow, do this if you hate the crossbow, is what I'm saying. This is your gold mine route for not liking the crossbow. It doesn't require Iron Keep. It doesn't require Mipha. It doesn't require Dex Ring. You can just use War Cook. And Kill Zone. But yeah. I wish you could get Vessel Shield this early, dude. If you could do that, that would be awesome, because then you'd get the ADP. And it would be free. Yeah, you can just play Rod really safe, and then it doesn't even matter that we're using the rapier right or the workout.
Glad I didn't get hit. That's good. <laughs> Shows that it's actually worth it, <laughs> not just stupid. Okay. Yeah, I changed position there. Let's see, we got what? A few more? Two more? This and then the next one. Yeah, Ron's seem to be faster as well with the plus 8 rapier versus plus 10 mace. I'm trying to advertise this basically at this point. Like an idiot. Maybe I'll do this in my run, my all boss run. I don't know. This is pretty cool. Definitely would want to do uh, the plus four Nashka route though, because I want to do Leo Ring early. And Flynn's Ring before this, probably. <sighs> okay. I'm fine with my route though. It's good enough. I'm used to the mace. Problem, excuse me, problem with Kale Song though is you don't get to see the character's face. Like, it's pretty sad actually. Only drawback. Free punish, dude. You know what else, dude? This is a really good way to spice up the run. Like, if you're bored of SL1. SL1 is a hella boring run if you're good at the game. This is just a small addition to the run as well. It's not like extremely big. It's just skips through in Sentinels and then does some other stuff, basically. Is that it? Nice. Wow. Yeah, that's fast. Oh my god. Holy. All right, half of the run done. GG, dude. Cool. There's not much you want to buy here, I don't think. I don't even think you need to buy anything except the bright bugs. Like we didn't kill any extra lords or old souls. I mean, ancient ones. Yeah, just bright bugs. Okay, cool. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> now let's go do Drang Lake with poison arrows. Yay. Pretty free. Okay. Imagine I get hit on this part. After all that. Yeah, but the, the big thing is the rapier, actually. I didn't mention that. Oh, you're not dead? What the hell? I didn't see that. It's my bad. Yeah, but like... The speed and stuff of the rapier, it's just so nice to have instead of the mace. The mace is really slow. So like, yeah, you can't do that in Assault 1 usually. Yeah, I, I am actually really hyped to see if anyone's going to do this. Probably not, but you know. Because like, when, when stuff like this comes out, it's just like, oh, but I don't want to learn Earthen Peak, you know? So, I, I get it. That's how I would be if I was running, like, if, if I was trying to learn, like, something like this on, like, DS3 or something, you know? I'd be like, nah, I'm not doing that. But, still.
Nice try. Yeah, if you have strats with bow, you can do them now on a uh, SL one. For the lizard up here, I'm gonna use the mace though, because like you kind of have to. Like I'd way recommend it over the crossbow or uh, over the <laughs> rapier for lizards. Like you can't even use it. But yeah, no point in buying arrows here yet because we're gonna get some at the guy. Mm, I don't have. Oh, I saw right here. Okay, good. Yeah, but this guy dies instantly. Because we still have SL1 mace. And then, like, if you're doing a marathon run, you can poison these guys. Uh, if you don't want to, which is like, I wouldn't do this on a run normally, normally I just run past them. You can use these poison arrows on duo. And oh my god, dude. Oh my god, that's so nice. Having and on the guys in giant lord. Basically any place that you'd want to use poison, you can now use it because you have this bow. It's like and you got the bonfires in Harvest Valley, so if you want to do infinite poison arrows, you can go to what do you call it? You can go to No Man's Wharf and do the Gavlin quest, and then, which is like, that's awesome, dude. The fact that you could do that, I might show that off. Yeah, this guy's not as consistent to bow. I hate bowing this guy. And then I'll just fast forward through this. Everyone knows this part's super slow. Normally you run to the door and then go into the throne to make this safe, but I'm gonna kill them because I want to speed this up. Yeah, okay, I'll show off infinite poison arrows as well. And that'll be the last thing that you can do with this round. So you can buy infinite arrows, infinite bolts here, and you can use either. There's like a whole lot more that you could do now with bow and crossbow. Bow is pretty much always going to be better though. Uh, you can get a couple repair powders if you want. But yeah, Cloan is your key here, dude. Cringe. But yeah, so we'll use the lizard to get plus 10 on the rapier, and then use Cloan. Basically, we'll keep plus 6 on the bow, or plus 7, sorry. We'll keep plus 7 on the bow all the way until we get, um, what is it? All the way until we get to Velstat. After you kill Velstat, you can get plus 10 on the bow. But we'll have plus seven, which is still better than with crossbow on Amana. Okay, you should use the mace there. That was a mistake, but you can use the rapier. In the mace, you can kill him way faster. Anyway, so let's go do uh, wharf really quick, just the beginning to show off infinite poison arrows as well. Wharf is pretty easy. Uh, it's kind of scary though. You can also get infinite skulls at this point. So, if you want to do infinite skulls through Wharf, we can do that. And that means you can also get dark resins, which is like, oh my god, there's so many things you can do now. I'm gonna do that. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Dude, this is so fun. <laughs> Having infinite of stuff is cool. Okay.
Okay, so we can get infinite skulls, which is like, yay! We already have infinite homer bones with the H feather. Yeah, okay, I'm not gonna be able to use the the stuff through there. So let's kill them with the mace. Or the bow. Sorry. Got him. 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 Uh, we can kill him too. Oh right, I have infinite arrows. You don't even need a torch actually until the uh, guys at the end, and you really don't even need one at all if you just do the whole area. You can do it consistently with no torch, if you're good. That might be copium though, I don't, I'm not sure. <laughs> okay, so with like infinite skulls, we can just throw one here instead of like up there. Grab this. Throw one here. I might start doing it this way, this is actually smart. And then throw one here. So it's like three. Free dark resin, and then dodge the dog like normal. And then we talk to Gavlin. Grab him, because our you can buy the first twenty, I guess. You can buy these or anything; it doesn't matter. And then we're going to go to the Poison Pool Bonfire, which is this one. Oh, I could have bought, uh, I could have bought some stuff there. That's fine. And then we also have infinite arrows. So. And you can also use this Poison Pool to set up RTSR if you remember the all boss setup. So like, whenever you get to this one here, a little bit after that first one, you can heal. And okay, never mind, I'm trash. Do it again. So we'll go a little bit after the first one. So like, here. God, I'm still bad, dude. No. Bro doesn't know the S is set up without extra gear. Okay, uh. There. Yeah, Artist High by Mouse. So I went too late. That's the problem there. We can kill these guys with way better, you know, damage. The lightning arrows and stuff. Now all we have to do is just run in to Gavlin, so like... You can buy more life gems if you want as well. Grab your uh, mace. Kill the skeleton. You can grab an extra raw stone here as well. And a branch. So in this chest is a raw stone. And you can say Gavlin know you. Buy us one of these. Doesn't matter. You don't even have to buy anything, I don't think. You just talk to him. And then go to 
you could have, if you wanted, if you were, you know, I didn't do this because I wasn't thinking that I was going to do infinite poison, but there's a bonfire you can grab after Nashka, and you can just go from that bonfire. It's the one for Royal Rat Authority, if you know what I'm talking about. It's up here, but I'll just run from this one. It's not a problem. So you're, you know, you're just running through Nasca's arena again, up through here. And then uh, past these guys is where Gavlin is. There's a life gem pickup you can grab as well. It's just one, I think, but I'm at, I'm at two, so you know, three is probably better than two. There, the bonfire is down there. Okay, here's that one. So then we buy infinite. You buy infinite of anything here. And yeah, that's uh, 90, 999 poison arrows. Uh, so what we got, the, the moral of the story here, <laughs> basically if you kill skeleton lords and covetous demon, you get access to rapier and bow, which, okay, so, also, let's just go grab, while I'm saying this, Rapier and Bow, which you can get plus 10, plus 10, thanks to Cloan, which you'll get after Velstat, but right now we just have plus 10, plus 7, which is still really good. It's almost as good as any percent upgrades, it's one upgrade off. Uh, you get two chunks away, which you can get two chunks, but there's no point in grabbing those because they're inconsistent. Uh, so you could, in theory, get to plus 10, plus 8. But yeah, we get plus 10, plus 7. We get the work hook. We get Kale's Helm. And we can have rape... So by killing... By adding Covetous, Earthen Peak, uh, and Skelly's, and Huntsman's Cops to your route, you get Rapier and Bow. And Infinite Poison Arrows. You also get Dark Resin, which you can use this on Guardian Dragon. And it's as good as magic resin, if you want. You still have infinite lightning resin. You still have infinite uh, lightning and magic arrows. We can upgrade the crossbow to plus six if you want, still. Uh, we're still okay to do that. If you want to use the crossbow also, you can do that. Now you have, you know, plus six crossbow. We still have plus ten and plus... Uh, well, yeah, still have plus ten rapier, plus ten mace goaded weapons uh you can still use you can still swap to the old build if you want just by doing that and then you're back to normal so one build you can you can always change back if you want uh this is like the most freedom route you can do you have so much you, you can access now and Late game is a breeze, dude. It's actually so easy. Oh my god. Com like, compared to the other one. And all it requires is a little time loss. And uh, some Elden Ring setup. And you know, <laughs> and then you're good. So yeah, that's uh, that simplifies a mana. Let's see what that simplifies. That makes a mana easier. That makes String Lake easier. That makes... Uh, Crypt is about the same. It might be a little bit easier. Because uh, Velstat would be safer. Velstat would be a lot safer with the with the rapier. But honestly, if I were you, I would use the mace on Velstat. Um, and then, you know, put on your iframe gear. That's what I would do. But that's just me. Uh, Guardian Dragon, it'll probably be easier. Uh, we are guaranteed to have Dark Resin here and Aromatic Goods if you pick those up for setup. Uh, it'll make... Dragon Shrine so much easier because you have poison, dude. I can't stress that enough. That'll be so much better. Um, it'll make duo infinitely easier because you have infinite poison arrows. Um, 
and Nishandra. You can also poison Nishandra. And you can poison the guys, the enemies, before Giant Lord. It'll also make Giant Lord easier, because if you do the platform strat, you have the bow, and not just the crossbow. So, you know, when you're rolling, you know, look at all this time. Like, you can shoot a lot faster with the bow. That's basically what I'm saying. So, every boss in the late game becomes easier. So just it's it's that's the whole benefit of this. And I didn't get hit a single time. I did this first try. So like, you know, it's it's consistent. And finally, I have a new strat for the guy in Earthen Peak as well. So <laughs> that's also a, a upside with this. But yeah, uh, if you have any questions about this run, I can do my best to uh, demonstrate something in a Discord call or whatever. Or you can ask. The Team Hills Discord. Uh, that's like, that's any percent start with you know, and like that's the setup. That's the Elden Ring version of this SL1 run. So yeah, I'm gonna send this to a couple of people and post this on YouTube. Um, but yeah, good luck guys on your runs. Good luck. Thanks for watching. Enjoy.